Today I want to show you a script that centers any type of fixtures on ceiling surfaces. Uh, on the screen you have three different types of ceilings in different rotations, different patterns, and different elevations. And on this ceiling I'm going to place uh, some light fixtures. Uh, I'm going to put some cans. These are phase-based uh, fixtures. And what that means is that these fixtures do not create any void on the ceiling. And uh, rotating and centering these uh, fixtures it can be a little bit uh, daunting sometimes, especially if you have a lot of fixtures to place. Um, and I'm going to put uh, just a few of them in this uh, reflect ceiling plan. And then I'm going to use Dynamo to uh, center and uh, these fixtures in the, in the plan as you can see here. Um, and uh, these are perfectly uh, centered uh, fixtures everywhere. Uh, if I need to add more, say for example I add this on the face here, another one here and here, and it doesn't matter if it's a residual panel. Um, it's going to go and uh, run the definition again, and uh, the fixture gets set up. Basically. So um, I'm going to put this on the video blog as a link. You can download it, but in general terms, uh, I'm not going to go into the details. You need three packages. Uh, you need Beaker, Springs, Bimorph, and also Clockwork package. And the way it works, you have to uh, create and export a DWG of the reflected ceiling plan without the live fixtures. And then uh, open the AX DWG, explode it, and link it back into the view as a view specific item. And the way the script works is that you have to select the DWG. Uh, and then, uh, in general, what this does is uh, first, you know, you select all the fixtures in a plan, given uh, the category of fixtures that you input here, you can actually change it, it doesn't have to be light fixtures, it could be any type of fixtures. Uh, and then, um, find the insertion point of those fixtures as they are. Uh, another big step is to import the ceiling grid pattern into Dynamo. Patterns don't travel easily between uh, Rabbit and Dynamo, and the only way I find this to work is by opening a DWG, exploding it, link it, and then import uh, the entities contained by the layer. In this case, the layer is a ceiling pattern. Uh, this is a great package by Morph Nodes. This uh, reads the cat curves and transforms them into dynamo elements and so these lines are projected into the ceiling surfaces and converted into vertical planes that help me uh, use them as uh, trimming entities and, and split the ceiling surface uh, which is the next step uh, using those vertical planes I'll align it with the grids uh, I get uh, two types of trimming surfaces and uh, for the trimming to work I need to split the vertical of faces by orientation and this is what this node is trying to do this creates groups of uh, trimming entities by orientation and uh, I created two types of splits one that's in one direction the other in the other direction and then convert everything into three polar surfaces um, then uh, the next big step is just to find you know, now that I have all the ceiling tiles modeled in Dynamo um, what's the center point where is it going and that's what this is doing using a surface point add parameters I'm able to find the midpoint of that tile uh, using the UV 0.5 um, and the next step is you now that I know where the where the fixture is going, 
I need to set its location. And for this, I make use of a dictionary, which was basically doing is mapping the light fixtures with uh, the ceiling it belongs to, and I use the ceiling identity element ID uh, in order to do that and do some sorting by key in order to group the slide fixtures by ceiling. Um, and then for the rotation, first I need to find what is the major tile orientation, assuming that that is the uh, main orientation of the fixtures as well. Um, and this set of nodes do that. And the final step is to align the fixture with a major panel orientation. And so I've tested this with uh, these uh, three types of ceilings. These are regular, orthogonal uh, ceiling grids. I have not tested with other types of ceilings. And, um, you know, uh, and I haven't tested it either with uh, sloping ceilings. But uh, you can uh, try it and test it and see if you can improve it to accommodate those as well. Um, I'm going to add a few more fixtures and run the script one more time to show you how you can um, easily uh, execute this task. There you go. All right, hope you like it. Thanks.